Hi, this is JD Nyland, Product Manager for Site Catalyst. I'd like to show you how to go in and modify an existing dashboard that you've moved over to the new dashboard system. As you can see in my dashboard drop down, I now have two JJ Esquire marketing dashboards. I have the original one that I'd created prior to version 14.7, and then we have the one that we just recently copied over and put into the new dashboard system. So I'm going to go ahead and open that dashboard up and we're going to go ahead and make some modifications to that dashboard. Now as that dashboard loads, you'll notice as I hover over each reportlet I can go and view that full report if I choose to. Also when you first pull up the dashboard, there are two modes that the dashboard runs in. The first one is in view mode and you can see that I can simply view all of the reportlets in this dashboard by scrolling down see all the pages. Now if I want to edit the dashboard I have to switch over into edit mode and so I would go over here and click on the open editor and then it's going to open the dashboard up into edit mode so I can make some edits and change the dashboard around. So I'm going to go ahead and skip back to the last page. I can do that by clicking on next page or I can view all pages of the dashboard up here and I can simply go and double click on that page to get to the last page. Now, if you remember right, we had created a page with three reportlets. And it looks like we have a lot of extra space left on the page. So if I wanted to expand these reportlets, I would go down here and this down arrow will show up where I can expand into another zone. And I could simply click on these reportlets and expand them out and actually have table data show. If I have a reportlet that I only want to see table data, I can go up to the actions menu and I can say hide the graph and when I hide the graph then all I will see is table data. I'm going to go ahead and switch the graph back on because I think that looks a little better. So you can see I have ultimate flexibility. Now another great feature of the new dashboards is let's go back over here to page one and on this page here things are looking a little too blue for me and so I'm going to go ahead and remove this reportlet by clicking on the X and if I decide I want to take this page view events reportlet I can move it down to the new zone over here and if I don't like the title I can simply call this page views and I do that just by clicking on the title itself and then if I want to expand monthly unique visitors over into the zone I can do that and that will load the reportlet so my dashboard is starting to look like I would like it to appear but maybe I don't like this graph type and so I can go up here and I have several options in here I can either hide the graph I can hide the details table which we showed you previously I can lock the report suite so I can say lock this reportlet inside this dashboard for the data in this report suite I can simply edit the date so if I want to view February's data I can click on the date and quickly update the report based on the new date you can see my data changed and then maybe I don't like this graph and so what I can do is edit the full report and then I can go over and change the graph to an area graph and then I can update this report and then I can go back into the dashboard by clicking on this monthly unique visitors link and it will take me back into my dashboard and you can see the new graph and so this shows you how we can easily make modifications to an existing dashboard. I can make it look how I want it to look and uh, expand those reportlets to fill the page. 